Okay, so we're going to draw a pentagram based on phi and more importantly we're going to do the fundamentals of a very important, uh, very simple system from which uh, so much geometry, sacred geometry, uh, will emerge. And so as always let's begin with our construction line. Okay, so we've got our construction line. Now I'm going to draw a circle, and this circle is going to be important it's because it's going to define length. Um, and that, not only that, we're going to create, uh, that's going to be the basis for so much other constructions, including the square that we set our compass. Set the compass. And on the other side of the circle. Okay, so I've been rushed a little bit, so I'm not the most accurate there, but that's not important. And of course, when you're drawing this, you want to be as accurate as you can, but this is just for instructional purposes. And now I'm going to join these two lines, and so what we have, uh, they're all 90 degrees from each other, and we have a framework from which to build on. And an uh, important note is that, so I want to prove this a little bit as we go along now, uh, if so let's say that A0, 0, 0 point to A, which would be the same on the other side. So we know that this would be 1. And we also know that so from this point to that point, the yellow line would be the square root of 2. 1 plus, that would be 1, so therefore square root of 2, a squared plus b squared is c squared. And this green line, from here down, so the green line would be our square root of 3. And now we have our compass again, so and we also have our zero point, we need to do one more circle. So, so from here, or alternatively from here to here, but just to keep it clearer, this orange line is the square root of 5. So we've got, we've got a few points to start off with, and so let's set our compass to the square root of 5. Okay, and with that, to begin with, so we have our zero point and A. We know that this is one, and therefore, so if we put our compass on that point, so let's set to the square root of five, draw that circle out. And therefore we know that this is 1 plus the square root of 5. From our earlier circle we know that this is 2 and A here is 1. 1, 2, 3 and 1 plus the square root of 5. Square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 equals pi. So now we have a pi ratio. And let's make this thing up. So if we set that to zero, we have one, we have two, we have three, and we have one plus square root of five, 
which is 3.23606 or 2.32606 uh, and we'll plus one that would be 3 point three six uh, now when I set our compass back to two our original defining point come to the end I'm going to bisect that line so we've bisected cut this in half and we've been cut, cut it at half at two from either point. Uh, what's very, very nice about that is that if I draw a line straight down, it crosses at phi. So, and square root of for, this equals two pi. This Sorry, yep. We have 2 pi or 3.23606, and we've cut the line there so we also have pi. So, uh, another important um, thing about that is so if we have pi and we, well, what's the, from pi to 2 is 1 over pi squared. That's a just one of the many little points that we have going on here, but that's something else. But what we do have is the um, all the necessary points to create a pentagram. And so let's this point, this point. And with that we can oh, and so what's really cool about it is that the phi point, which is one half is also the basis for our pentagram. So if we begin at zero point, we go through this intersection here. Go to the end, or two pi, we go through that point. And from here, we're going to go through here and here. And now we have a fire based pentagram. So if this length in purple is 5 and this in yellow would be 1. And there you have it. That's uh, from this deceptively simple little symbol. We have one fire ratio now. We can also now use that to create the uh, Great Pyramid design. And let me clear the muck away. Okay, so we began with the circle and then the two, the vesica around it. So with that we can Create a construction line. With that, we go to the make sure that so we always bring this compass back to this point, the defining circle. Okay, now we go into the center. So now we have one, two, and three. Then we need to find the square root of 5. We kick it from that point. So we have the square root of 5 plus 1. So 
So we have 2 pi. Set our compass back to 2. Go to the end. From here to here we draw a line. And that line is going to pass through phi. So we have 2 phi, half of that is phi. And with that we can now do uh, the Great Pyramid design. Uh, and to do that we need to set to compass to phi. And so now we have, we'll do it a different, well we'll do it twice anyway. So we've got one and we have phi. We set the compass to phi. The Great Pyramid half base is equal the hypotenuse is in a ratio of phi, so that's phi. Put that on one. Mark the circle there. Should do the same on the other side, so this would be minus one. Or again, one from point zero. And now we have our first triangle, and this would be the 2D plan of the Great Pyramid. Now this is the smaller version, but also alternatively, so we know if this length is 2 pi, this is 2. And of course this is 2. So we set it to 2 pi, we go over to 2. And again we have, so we had our original Great Pyramid plan, where if this is 1, that is pi, therefore this is the square root of pi. That's our first Great Pyramid plan. Now just a get the maximum out of the paper so we have draw also a larger one it's neither here nor there and so just to highlight those so we have the great pyramid and this is exactly the same but just Using the 2 pi to 2 ratio, we also have another one just larger. And if green is pi, therefore yellow is 1. If orange is pi, therefore purple is 1. So there you have it. Two designs uh, merging from this symbol, which is a very simple, you've got the basic constructions and from that you get so much.